Oh, there she is. It's travel time again. Yay, more fun. We like going. And today is the first time in how long we're going somewhere new and different. Yes, like a lot of months. <laughs> it has been. Okay, it's been at least three months since we've been anywhere that is new, that isn't some place we were before. So we're excited. We're going down to Keymar, Maryland. But anyway, it's like halfway between Lancaster, Pennsylvania and Washington, DC. So we're just gonna spend two nights there and then head to our friend's house outside of DC. And we're going to a boondockers welcome, right? Which we love and they have water and electric, so and that's they, fun. And they have dogs and goats. Four dogs. And sheep. Yes. This is why we love Boondockers Welcome so much. We get to see really just beautiful places in the country and it's so nice of people to open their homes and let us like stay in their driveways. So Carmel's having fun playing ball. They've got this huge fenced in area. See the goats are over there. So the huge fenced in area, they move the goats in the small pen so we can bring the dogs out to play. So they are going to have a good time here. So we pulled in to a Boondockers Welcome. It's a beautiful property. And I'm looking out the window, I see this trail of drips of yeah, oil along there. so I'm trying to figure out like checked all the fluid levels oil hydraulic fluid for the jacks brake fluid transmission fluid nothing's leaking and there's nothing wet underneath so I don't know what and now we're thinking it might not be from me because this is where they have other boondockers park too so maybe the previous person that was parked here had a leak because when I backed up I don't think I was quite as far over as where these leaks these drips are so well, we didn't I even, but I didn't notice if those were there when we pulled in. Yeah, I didn't either because the dogs were running around. I didn't, I would have noticed this, I would think, but. Uh, McKenna, are you helping in some way? Yes, she's there for support. She's, it, does it all look okay, honey? It does. It looks so. good. So McKenna's having the fun of driving in Washington DC traffic in the morning. We left where we were at about seven o'clock. We're heading straight towards DC. So Brian and Jared are smartly leaving later. So they're not in this mess in the RV. I mean, there's still a lot of traffic during the day, but nothing like this. So we had to get to our friend's house a little earlier. So yeah, it's worse than we thought, you know, and you look on the GPS and there's like five or six accidents between where you are and where you're going. So. So yeah, the dogs are loving their traveling. <laughs> the best two nights we were at a Boondockers Welcome that had a great fenced in yard for playing. And now here at our friends outside of DC. day in the DC area we were thinking of going down to DC but we had made some plans for Alex to get together with a friend great thing about RVing all over of course is that we make friends everywhere and we're actually staying with some friends down here who we met at Disney World last year and these friends we are visiting today we met at Disney World at the same time we like met them I think the same day actually and it's funny because they lived within 20 minutes of each other so now we're gonna head back the boys stayed back and I don't know what they're doing all day. They might be playing board games or something. So McKenna's practicing violin. You might think it's warmer, but just look at how I'm dressed versus how she's dressed. What? It's not that warm. It's probably not this cold, but I've been out since like 7.30, so it was colder when I went out. And Pepper got a new toy. Let me show you Pepper's new toy. Did you have a new toy? Hi, Carmel. So we also have to show you Carmel with her new toy. Pepper did get first choice because she came along shopping with me. But I knew Carmel would love this one because Carmel likes to feel like she caught and killed something and shakes it to death kind of thing. So she likes this kind of flat squeaky. Oh, is that nice, Carmel? Kill it. Did you kill it? Yeah, he has no idea. No clue. Surprise! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No idea. Heading 
Vinny DC. Where are we going, Sharon? Uh, DC. You just said it. Now, where in DC, McKenna? We're going to see lights at the zoo. I got a picture instead of video. Gosh, how uncommon of you. <laughs> I do do that a lot. So yeah, we're, we're just sitting here like admiring how much time we spend in gas stations in our life now. So, you know, we're doing the dump the tank. And I don't know what Jared's doing here. We got a tear with the hose. Jared's just fighting with the hose. <laughs> I wish we had that on tape. Jared was fighting with the hose. Now he's just wasting water, I think. So yeah, we hang out and this is our view. This would be a flying J somewhere in Virginia. I think it's near Fredericksburg. Dad. <laughs> okay, there's Jared, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so. We could go to Wendy's while we wait at the Wendy's over there. We could, there's a Wendy's and. Golden Claw. There's there's an Exxon and a Mr. Fuel. You look excited, McKenna. I'm tired. Because it was Thanksgiving and we yes. were with our friends. And they have teenagers too, so what do teenagers do when they get together is run around like all day, <laughs> every day. In Washington, D.C. and the Washington, National Zoo. DC, the National Zoo. Oh, they're leaving. We're gonna lose. Oh. Okay, we gotta follow them. They'll be lost without us, so. Did I mention today's Tuesday? I may have said it was Wednesday before. I'm not sure. It's but not Wednesday. It's not Wednesday, it's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm sure of that. I'm positive. Okay. That's bad lighting again. Yeah. So today we're going to Wakaiwa Springs State Park in Florida, which is about an hour from Orlando area. But we have mail that we have to pick up at our mail service, which is in Green Cove Springs, Florida. And that is like two hours from Wakaiwa. We need to separate and we need to get to Green Cove Springs and they're gonna go straight to Wakaiwa. We are gonna stick with them a while longer, but right now our estimated arrival time is four. We don't wanna get any worse than that because we've gotta stop for gas. We've gotta stop at the Florida Welcome Center. And get orange juice. And get All grapefruit get juice. juice. I get grapefruit juice. So we're at the Florida Welcome Center because when you come into Florida, you have to stop at the Welcome Center no matter how many times you've been here. And what was the problem today? There is no juice. There is no juice. And they've always had that. I don't know if it's, it said it's not available right now. So hopefully it's a temporary thing because it would just be very, very bad if they no longer have juice. All right, so we're on our way. So you may remember this place. We were here last year and it is Wakaiwa Springs State Park. We know how to pronounce it properly now. And we just loved it here, so we needed to get into Orlando for Brian to have doctor appointment. So Alex, our our travel planner, found us um, two nights here at this state park. It's right um, just north of Orlando, so it's a great location, and it's really, really, really pretty. And I will admit, we are me. not going in the water today because to it's a little too chilly out. It's so cute. It's harmless. Oh, it's tiny. It's smaller than the one that was in here last time. How tiny is she? This is fine. Easy. You're All running into the camera on. person. No, don't run into the camera person. Would you stop so that the camera person yeah, can get further she's away? Yeah, she's slow. So <laughs> How many ways? Oh, blocked. <laughs> you need Christmas lights strung up around your hammer. So the best parts here at Wakaiwa State Park in Florida is all the trails. Everywhere they have narrow little trails that you can you can bike on them or you can hike on them. Then there's all these paths like the one we're on. Can you see? It's one of the kind of ranger paths. So we don't know quite where it goes. So we're headed back towards the campground. Alex would like to point out where we are. Stop hiding. Yes, you would. Why are you driving with us? Because we're going to Disney. So see, the plus to Daddy having to come to Orlando for doctor appointments is we're going to Disney. And Alex has us all planned out for our fast passes and where we're going. So we 
got to Disney Store Wilderness like two hours ago. Alex is setting up Christmas lights because that's her thing to do. And Jared's over here taping some sort of video already with McKenna's help. So it's a little bit confusing because we don't have like enough like outlet hookups and stuff. So I have to like figure out how it's all gonna work. Um, so I had to get another extension cord and now I can show you what my plan is and what I have up so far. Two blow or two bulbs are up over there. And then I'm going to put, um, well up here I have purple and red lights. And then I might put multicolor lights over on that tree. So this was just amazing. We just had, we just came walking over to the Rise of the Resistance ride and people have waited hours to get on it. Because you have to have a special pass that you get in the morning or you yeah, can't go on it. That you get in the park in the morning. You can't get it till you come in the park. And it was all filled when we got here. So we were just walking over just to see outside of it. And a woman came up to us who works for Disney and said, would you like to go on the ride? And we're like, and we said yes. Yes. <laughs> Poor McKenna, she's got a really bad headache, so she's not coming with us. But Jared and Alex and I are going to help. During the ride, she's like, This is amazing! So I think everyone on the ride knows. Well, everyone was doing Alex it. really yeah, liked the ride. Yeah, Rise of the Resistance, the new ride that opened like a week ago. Amazing. Okay. Now we're headed to Animal Kingdom Lodge. We've never been here and we really want to check it out. We want to see the decorations and just all the cool stuff. So we're driving over here. I don't think we're going to get to a park today. We're just kind of hanging out. We're going to see some more lights around the campground. So, well, Brian and the twins are stuck doing the boring stuff, like going to get their passports. We are where? At Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, the which park. is the park. Not the lodge. Yeah, we left the lodge, came yeah. to the park, and this is Alex's favorite park. Best part, so yeah, we got a little bit wet on Kelly River, but yeah, the best part when we come without the twins, there's just two of us, so it's less expensive to buy food. So we got ice cream, and they have what kind is it? Peppermint. Fun. Yes. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad it went on. I was a little worried about it because all the shaking and jo uh, drops and stuff, but it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been so close. That's all the lyrics I know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The one thing that we do not enjoy about full time RVing is when it rains. <laughs> so. Today's our last day at Disney, which is sad, but we're coming back in a couple of weeks. We were just here kind of for Christmas. But yeah, the rain is, uh, I guess it's time to leave. It wouldn't be fun in the parks today anyway. It's like pouring, but whether you're at Disney or anywhere, when it's raining and you're trying to, you know, pack up and there's all these outside things to do, Jared's dumping the tanks. We're both loading the, the vehicles. We're keeping the other three in here just so like just two of us get wet. It's just icky and sticky and shoes are all soaked in smell and you know we don't have a lot of shoes so they're like at the heater trying to dry and then towels and I just did all the laundry yesterday so yeah hopefully the rain doesn't last more than a day or two. <laughs> so we're heading out from Disney. Of course, the rain has stopped now that we're done packing up. Now that you can tell it's where you No. So we're off on the road again today. We spent the night at a friend of ours' house. We met these uh, this family last year. They were on Boondockers Welcome, and they're no longer um, on there. 
but we met them and became friends with them and they said oh anytime you're passing through around the Tallahassee area we got ourselves to our new home for the week here it's St. Andrews State Park in Panama City Florida and it's pretty nice it's right along the bay over there we, the first thing we're gonna do is well we let we're, we're kicked out of the RV because Jared's gonna do all the setup with Brian and hi McKenna McKenna's gonna take the dogs for a walk with me and we're gonna do exploring <laughs> So you are building sand staircases, McKenna. Yes. This sounds exciting. Whose is better, Jared? Uh, so far hers. So as we continue our journeys through uh, the real Florida, we find ourselves in a lush ecosystem of dead shells. And one of the eight wonders of the world is this. Equivalent to Stonehenge in England or Germany or wherever it is, this structure has been here for millennia and no one knows what it was for. Was it worshiping grounds? Was it a calendar? Nobody knows. <laughs> Come on! I'm not supposed to model it. <laughs> Don't mind the children amusing themselves. So, yeah, Hurricane Michael went through here like 14 months ago, and you can see it just really cut away the dunes and left this big concrete thing out here. And like all the the docks and the walkways out to the beach are closed right now and everything because they haven't had a chance to build them back. But they're having fun. 